The second of the four questions you should ask is why? Why was it placed on the web? What is the motivation of whoever put it on the web? Are they trying to sell you something? Provide a public service? Promote themselves or persuade you to their point of view? Or educate, inform? Clearly, Vodafone wants to sell its products and services. There is a clue in the URL, their web address, .co or .com stands for commercial. In terms of research material, this may indicate a bias in their product's favour. Perhaps you'll need to look for a balancing argument. Government websites with GOVT in their address, like the New Zealand Companies Office, may include legal or regulatory information or present government policy. It is generally official information designed to inform and provide a public service. New Zealand government information will be reliable. A polytechnic and university would care very much about their reputation. Academic institutions will all have either .ac or .edu in their URL, like this, the University of Waikato Research Commons. I've entered River Effluent and it has brought up research conducted by Waikato University staff and students. Really scholarly information for an assignment. .org indicates an organisation which could be anything, although generally means not-for-profit. Consumers About Us page states this clearly, and we're familiar enough with this organisation to trust it. If you aren't familiar with an organisation, you might need to check the About information on their site to find out who they are and what their angle on the subject is and take any bias into account.